First aid, Lee here. Yes. First aid, I need some help. Could you tell me your exact location? At the 3500 level, my gas, my partner's been gassed. I need some help right away. <laughs> Poisonous gas can be a miner's worst nightmare. What you've just witnessed is the unfortunate result of failing to recognize a life-threatening situation. A heading with the fan turned off can hold the same deadly hazards as a confined space. Hazards such as oxygen deficiency and a buildup of poisonous gases that may overcome a person in minutes or even seconds. June 20th, that's a, a day I'll never forget. Even now, I find it hard to talk about. Well, that morning we were driving a new drift off the main ramp. We just finished blasting around in 35402. After the blast, Joe and I went over to the rack to try and get this fan to go, but it wouldn't start. And it kept tripping out or something. Well, Joe was a high baller and he he wanted to get in there right away and get it mucked out. And we both realized we had to get it bolted in time for the cross shift. I went over to the phone and called the shop and told them. They said they'd send an electrician right away. Uh, we waited half an hour, he never showed up. I told Joe I'd go to the shop and get him myself. Now, I told Joe before I left, uh, I told him to stay at the entrance. I told, I told him not to go in the drift. He knew how dangerous that was. Well, he told me he'd stay where he was. and I went down the manway, out to the drift, to the shop. I guess I was gone half an hour. When I got back, couldn't see Joe or the scoop at the entrance. And I got this awful feeling. I know he went in there. It's my guess he just got fed up with waiting there and went in to wash down the muck pile. He was always a go-getter. He could never sit still, even for a minute. 
Most days, Joe never even stopped for lunch. He must have realized he couldn't work in that kind of air. I mean, how could anybody work in that much gas and smoke? Well, I just hightailed her right into that drift. and I could see the scoop parked up against the wall, still running. There's all this smoke and diesel fumes everywhere. It smelled like burnt powder. I could see through the smoke. I could see Joe hunched over the controls. It didn't look like he was moving. 